We all know and love Tobey Maguire as the original Spider-Man, and he too fell in love with his own Mary Jane, Kirsten Dunst. The truth is, I love you. But the couple we really want to know about is Tobey's first and only wife, Jennifer Meyer. They've been notoriously private about their relationship, but after recently filing for divorce after four years of separation, we couldn't help but dig up everything we could about their marriage. Stay tuned, juicers. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into Tobey Maguire's marriage and how he moved on with Tatiana Dedeman, who, might we add, is 17 years his junior. Please, just, uh, I don't know what to say. Tobey Maguire met Jennifer Meyer in 2003 while the actor was busy filming Seabiscuit, and Jennifer was working as a jewelry maker. Tobey has always been the kind of guy to keep his private life out of the spotlight. So it was no surprise that he did his best to keep his relationship with Jennifer away from prying eyes. After three years of dating, the couple welcomed their first child together, a baby girl named Ruby Sweetheart McGuire. About a year or so later, McGuire and Meyer decided to make things official by tying the knot in an intimate wedding ceremony in Hawaii. They were surrounded by close friends and family, which of course included Toby's longtime friend, Leonardo DiCaprio. Jennifer commented on their wedding, saying, Let's just say this is truly the best time of my life. I'm walking on air. I'm getting married, starting a family, and have an amazing company. McGuire also talked about how becoming a father changed him. I've changed a lot over the last six years. I love being a dad. I love my daughter. Yeah, it's definitely amazing. It's like everybody says, all the cliches are true. It's indescribable, and you just have to be there to understand it. You know, you don't really get it until you're there. The couple went on to expand their family yet again in 2009 when they welcomed their son, Otis Tobias Maguire. Toby commented at the time on how happy he was with the changes in his life and gushed about his newfound family life. Appearing on the popular TV show Letterman, he shared, It's a very dramatic change. My whole life is in transition now with friendships and where I'm going to live, you know, just your whole perspective. It's great. The couple went on to keep their family life pretty quiet and everyone simply assumed that all was well with the Maguires. So far, so good. It's all running smooth. <laughs> However, when the couple announced that they would be separating after nine years of marriage, fans realized that things couldn't have been going as well as they thought. The former couple shared in their 2016 statement, After much soul-searching and consideration, we have made the decision to separate as a couple. As devoted parents, our first priority remains raising our children together with enduring love, respect, and friendship. A source close to the couple at the time confessed that McGuire and Meyer had decided to part ways because of their different lifestyles. They've been living separate lives for a while. They have completely different interests and haven't seemed to be connecting. He's extremely private and prefers to stay home, and she's very social and has tons of girlfriends. They haven't been happy together for a long time. However, despite their different lifestyles, the former couple was determined to put their children first and stay friends. Just because their marriage was coming to an end, that didn't mean that they were going to be throwing away all the years that they had loved and cared about each other. Toby and Jennifer had formed a bond as a family, and as parents, they loved their children, and they were going to continue to be supportive of each other throughout their separation. The source also shared that Meyer and McGuire's split was not sudden, and there was no drama. They are committed to remaining friends for their children and wanted to wait to make sure of that. They went back and forth on this decision, but realized this is where the relationship is, and they simply grew apart. However, a couple of years later, and neither Toby nor Jennifer had filed for divorce yet. For a brief moment, there were whispers that there was a possibility that they would reunite as a couple. But as it turned out, that wasn't the case. It was clear that the former couple had a lot of love between them, and they supported each other equally, but there weren't going to be any chances of rekindling their romances. As an insider shared, that ship has sailed. Meyer opened up in January 2018 about her post-split relationship with McGuire. He's my best friend, she exclusively told us. He's the greatest ex-husband a girl could ever have. As for co-parenting, she added that they figure it out together, which manages to work out really well. We really share in everything. He's amazing. He's the greatest dad in the world, so he makes it very easy. Jennifer also expressed that the friendship that she and Toby were able to maintain was a good example for their children. Remember that you love your kids equally more than anything in the world and that you want the best for them. And if they see parents that don't get along or fight, then they're going to be unhappy 
and nobody wants unhappy children. She also didn't hesitate to praise her ex, confessing that he was her best friend and she wouldn't know what to do without him. Jennifer shared that he was still so sweet to her, and whenever Mother's Day comes around, he asks her how she would prefer to spend the day. They truly seem like the perfect example of how to stay friends and co-parent kids after a split. In 2020, four years after they separated, Meyer finally filed for divorce. She asked for joint legal and physical custody of their two children. Considering how messy some divorces can be in Hollywood, Toby and Jennifer's divorce was smooth sailing, and they were able to settle things quietly and amicably. After her divorce from McGuire, Meyer went on to date sports agent Rich Paul, but the pair split in 2020 before Paul's relationship with Adele. However, Meyer isn't McGuire's first relationship in Hollywood. He also dated his Spider-Man co-star Kirsten Dunst. The former couple started dating while filming the first Spider-Man movie back in 2001. As it turned out, James Franco, who played Harry Osborn in the Spider-Man movies, also had a crush on Kirsten. And this led to a bit of a rivalry between him and Toby. Like Pete, I, I should have told you about us. You should know I'm crazy about her. James said in an interview, Toby and Kirsten became a couple around that time. I had a crush on Kirsten, and I think I was upset about that as well. Toby was mad at me for a while. By the second film, we were cool. Luckily for James, McGuire and Dunst split in 2002 before production started on Spider-Man 2. Toby and Kirsten had done such a good job at keeping their relationship a secret that when news spread of their breakup, a lot of people were surprised to know that they had even been together. Not even the director of Spider-Man films, Sam Raimi, knew that the actors had been dating. However, after Sam found out about their split, he was worried it was going to affect the production of the second film. He also confessed that he had concerns that their breakup was going to interfere with the chemistry their characters were supposed to have in the movie. As it turned out, dating in real life actually helped Toby and Kirsten act on screen because they had gotten to know each other so well that you could see that they really cared about each other even after they split. The director shared, They really like each other, I think very much. And that relationship probably just added to their ability to trust each other. In an interview for Spider-Man 3 in 2007, Dunst also confirmed that she and McGuire didn't have issues playing love interests after their breakup. We can wink at each other and have a camaraderie that's, you know, stronger over the course of three movies. After her breakup with McGuire, Dunst went on to date Jake Gyllenhaal, who surprisingly almost replaced McGuire as Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 after a feud between McGuire and Columbia Pictures over his on-set behavior and his salary. As for where Dunst is now, in 2016, she started dating her Fargo co-star, Jesse Plemons, who played her love interest on the show. The two got engaged in 2017 and welcomed their son a year later. For his part, Toby started dating model Tatiana Dieterman after they met at a party hosted at Leonardo DiCaprio's home. Perhaps he was following in his good friend's footsteps when he decided to date a woman 17 years younger than he is. Regardless of the significant age gap, a source confirmed in 2020 that Dieterman had met McGuire's kids with his ex-wife and they all get along swimmingly. Toby and Tatiana live together and they're really happy. Toby's kids love her. She's great with them. Unfortunately, after almost four years together, Toby and Tatiana split around the end of 2021. The actor is now happily embracing his single life and was recently spotted partying with a group of friends in LA. Toby will always have a special place in our hearts as the very first Spider-Man. While it's a pity that things with his wife didn't work out, if there's anything we can learn from how he's handled their divorce and how they co-parent their kids is that he's a really stand-up guy. He's put his kids first, and he is still good friends with his ex-wife, and that kind of makes us love him a little more.